good freaking morning people big red here thank you all for tuning in to my red talk today is shit it's thursday already it is thursday february 8th man <coughs> this week is flying flying by so thank you all for tuning in all right so you can see it's nice and sunny out today hopefully this looks good on camera but most likely not i don't think sun reflects off my face very well just being a big pasty white guy that being said thank you all for tuning in thank you all for coming back if you're not already please make sure you subscribe to the channel i post in my red talk every morning for the foreseeable future that is correct every morning I will have something up and out talking to you guys. All right. I'm trying to interact with you guys. So drop a comment. Is there anything you want me to talk about? And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's get into today's. So today, let's uh, first, before we get into what I'm going to talk about today, I want to recap my day yesterday a little bit. <coughs> Sorry, I'm like really coughing today. I don't know why. So yesterday I talked about how I was supposed to go into the city, had to do some stuff for work. Um, luckily ended up not going into the city, so that was huge. And uh, just did some did some like field testing for our products for the new store we're opening up, and went to a couple places around here. And it was actually really good. It was uh, it was a successful trip. Um, we were testing out uh, affogados. So if you don't know what an affogado is, affogado is gelato for ice cream. All right, gelato and ice cream are not the same thing, but you could put ice cream in an affogado. So it's ice cream uh, with espresso poured over it. So, pretty good. Pretty freaking good. And uh, if you know me, you know that I, one, love coffee. And have been an ice cream fanatic for my entire life. So, it's just like adding my two worlds together. What more? What more do I need? <laughs> Alright. So, we went. We tested a couple places. We tried out a few different uh, a few different stores a few different uh, shops I should say and we're all really good we went to this place I'm going to shout it out uh, Nana's Ice Cream and Coffee House in Westbury it's on I think it's Westbury Avenue I believe I don't know the exact address off the top of my head I apologize but look them up, they come up. <coughs> Absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Best one I've ever had. Hands down. You know, chocolate on the bottom, ice cream, the espresso over top, whipped cream, like, oh, so good. So freaking good. So big shout out to Nana's. You guys, you guys rocked. <laughs> Definitely rocked. So we went, did that. Uh, yeah, like as you could imagine, I had two, three, three of them in the afternoon. Your boy was fucking cranked yesterday. Absolutely jacked up. I could have ran 17 New York City marathons, I think, and would have won every single one of them. That's a lie, but that's what I felt like. It was wild. Absolutely wild. Got home. Oh, fuck, I forgot my lunch at home. God damn it. That's all right. But got home, zooping around the house. Like, I felt like a dog that had zoomies. It's actually kind of crazy. But it was, uh... It was a successful trip. It 
Uh, I guess going real fast on the truck. Successful trip. We had a good day. So, shockingly, I fell asleep at a normal time, too. I think I got all my energy out and was just like, mm -hmm. yeah, just done, done so. So, yeah, it was good. It was definitely good. <laughs> now, what I want to talk about today, all right, this is going back to my, uh, my fat boy problems with with you guys that you know, trying to come up with some stuff that you know issues I have in this world for being a large human being that I run into uh, now the this place I want to talk about Right. I feel like it really started because they sold, uh, like, bigger and, like, out-of-year out of models shoes, right? Does everybody remember a site called East Bay? East Bay was probably my favorite <clears throat> website to order stuff from, and they always carried a size 15 shoe like every model every brand every everything that they had you know came in big size shoes like you could go on you could get 15 16 17 18 no problem across the board and I remember growing up when we found when I found them it was just a magazine and you had to call an order <coughs> kind of really before the internet was huge but they uh, they would send the magazine to you you know go through and it was cool because it would be like a legit you know catalog and all it did was all it had was you know sneakers and shorts and t-shirts and you know, like, all athletic stuff. Which was awesome. So, I remember as a kid, right, I think I hit a size... I want to say I was a size, like, 14, like, really young. 14, 15, really young. And it was, like, the only place I could find shoes. The only place that had, like, the... In, in style basketball shoes or football cleats and in my size that's what I remember and that like stuck with me until my 30s because I was still ordering stuff off of there until the you know until they went and got bought out by whoever but I was just thinking about it the other day because my dad actually brought it up and my dad said that he said something and he was like oh you know trying to order it on East Bay and I was like dude I'm like East Bay has gone extinct and then I was thinking about it more it was like my my favorite underwear to wear was from East Bay and they were East Bay brand so I would wear compression shorts you know, which I wear pretty much every day, and which is another big boy problem. All right, if you if you have thick thighs that save lives, you know what I'm talking about. You wear compression shorts because otherwise you're gonna start a fire. Uh, but that being said, it was like like forever. I was wearing Under Armour ones and then Nike ones and then. They're just like so fucking expensive. I was like, I'm literally paying $35 for a pair of underwear. And that was on like the cheap end. You know, especially like when they first came out, they were, you know, they were huge. And that was, they were expensive. You know, then I found out one day that East Bay made them. And I would catch 
like the yearly sale on East Bay and they would be knocked down from like $12.99 to you know $5.99 a pair and I would just buy $100 worth of underwear on the spot but I think that's what I think that's why I'm most upset that they're extinct is that I can't get East Bay underwear anymore you know East Bay was like the the easiest thing to do <laughs> go online had an account set it up all your shit was saved it was beautiful absolutely beautiful just go on there and then you know all the shipping was quick because I guess they just had a warehouse where everything was and it just you know they would fill it like that day and you'd get it three days later and bang done beautiful any type of shoes you want you know you want size 15 Jordan ones they probably had them most likely did you know but like any basketball shoe they had everything they had all the football cleats all the turf shoes all the everything and they kept they kept all the shit like in stock like even if it was out of style for until it was gone you know there was like a, a uh, what do you call it like a turf shoe I remember that was like in in like 2008 when I was playing football in high school and obviously I got them because they're dope but so I had those and then I remember looking like five years ago and they had the same exact pair but like the only size left that they had was like a size 19 so it's like they literally keep it there until it's gone which is awesome, because most places, like, the year after, or whatever, the next model comes out, whoop, see you later. Not East Bay. Not East Bay, man. East Bay did it differently. East Bay was different. So, I, uh, I love that site. Man, that site was great. You know, and the fact they, they carried big stuff. You know, it's like, you needed a big champion hoodie, you can order that shit on East Bay, all right? You needed size 16 football cleats, they got it on East Bay. You know, 4XL underwear, 3XL underwear, compression shorts rather, they got it on East Bay. You want regular underwear? They got it. You know, dry fit shirts, East Bay brand, you know? was good what a time to be alive the East Bay era <laughs> you know and it was cool too because like I would go and you know I like I like sneakers I like to I'm not like a fucking sneaker head but I like to have variety you know to me not really a big fan of wearing the same shoe every day you know like I always had normal shoes then workout shoes then you know whatever in between and uh, East Bay was good for that because you go and check the clearance you can find $18 pair of shoes you know Nobody wears a size. Nobody buys size 15. So it's like all size 15s were always in the clearance. It was great. Absolutely great. And I was just like... I remember a time where... I played... Playing basketball in... In high school. Right? So I was in probably 10th grade. And... I found like three or four year old model. I think they were Nikes. <coughs> and I got home colorway, away colorway, and like just 
walking around colorway and I remember getting all three pairs and it was like $35 it was incredible incredible and now you just can't you can't get shit like that anymore you really can't but man that site was good if you guys ever used East Bay which you probably did I feel like if you're uh, if you were an athlete of any kind you were on East Bay at some point and you know drop a comment down below I want to know if you guys use East Bay because East Bay was good East Bay was really good I think that you know what that might be my my like goal in life is to bring back something like East Bay you know to just buy like you know model you know modeled shoes that are a year old you know like overstocked ones and buy them in wholesale throw them on a site and you know make my own little factory might not be the best, the uh, worst idea in the world. Why not? Especially because finding big shoes is very difficult still. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look into that. Maybe that's a maybe that's a decent idea. Do like a you know, like overstock for shoes, which I'm sure there is something like that already, but. <clears throat> yeah I miss East Bay man I really do I miss that shit that thing was that site was awesome everything about it quite literally everything about it was awesome and they had a good thing I hope they got paid a lot of money I think champs bought them out because now I think if you go to eastbay.com it comes right to champs <laughs> So I hope Champs bought them for a lot of money because whoever created East Bay deserves all the money. So, so yeah, I mean other than that, let me know uh, let me know if you guys used East Bay. If you had a favorite thing that you would buy from East Bay, like I would buy the underwear all the time. And I've now resorted to uh, Walmart's end one versions of underwear, just because they're big and they're cheap and they they're good as well. But I'll tell you what, they're not. They're not East Bay brand. That's for damn sure. Like I said, drop a comment down below if you ever used East Bay before. I'm curious. And I think if you were an athlete, you definitely did at some point. Other than that, I'm going to leave you guys on that. Uh, I'm probably going to go cry now because I missed East Bay. And yeah, so like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notifications, all that good shit. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.